So I'm getting ready to do Battleship Part 5, which is Lesson 6. Um, they start us off with a blank slate again, so I want to use the Java files saved from previous lessons uh, to populate our code over here. So I have Microsoft Teams open in Team AB Miller Semester 2 Computer Science A, and under the Files section, I have files for, there's class materials, and then I have files for all of our Java. So, and I like this sorting it as a Java file because when we open one of those files, it's actually going to look like code instead of looking like plain text. So this is the grid class. I'm going to click in here somewhere, Control A, Control A, and Control C to copy. Come back over to Battleship, Grid, click in here, Control A, Control V, so the grid class is done. <clears throat> Come back over to here and close this code and open up the next one, which is the grid tester. Now a lot of this grid tester we're not going to be able to use because it's now uh, going to be player tester, but that's okay. So we click on this, it brings up the code that we used for our grid tester before. Click in here anywhere, and control A, control C to copy. Back over to Battleship, I'm going to paste this into player tester. I'm going to place it here at the end and then I'll figure out what part of that I want to use later. Back to Teams, close this file. And open up the class materials again. And the next one we saved is location. So there's our location class. We can click anywhere. Control A. I don't know why it's not doing that. There we go. Control A. Control C. This is the location class. So I go here. And I just select all and paste. So there's that. And one last one to do. Uh, we're going to close. Come back to class materials. And the ship class, I think, is the last one. So I'll click on the ship class. And there's our code for the ship class. Click somewhere. Control A, Control C, come over here, ship class, Control A, Control V. So now all of that code is pasted. And we have to go back here to the player tester, which we pasted in our code for the grid tester. So this code these um, constant variables I'm going to put into the player tester and then all of this stuff that we had in the public void run all of that I'm going to cut that and that's going to be pasted up here in the player tester public void run. So that should look like that and then all of this grid tester we can get rid of. Now I'm going to do another video after this because this code even though we had it working in the previous lesson it's not going to be working now because there's a player, actually it should work okay. Okay, so the code still runs fine the way it did in the last lesson. So in the next video, I'll try to show you how to start creating the player class and how to test the player class over here in the player tester.